in the semifinals. Joining us now is number eight and BYU captain of the men's rugby team, Ben Austin. Ben, welcome up, to ben? BYU Sports Nation. Thank you for having me. I'm glad to be here. It's like a proper mustache, by the way. <laughs> Thank it's you. It's like, and you look like an eight-man captain. That was the idea. That was, that was certainly <laughs> the idea. Awesome, How are you feeling about? Let's just let's just start with this. What's the state of the program like right now? Because as I just mentioned, it's it's different than the you know not so long ago glory years. Things things are tougher now. So, what's the state of the program like? How are you able to turn this thing around? Yeah, I've actually been thinking about this question a lot. Um, I grew up watching BYU rugby, tuning into YouTube or BYU TV Sports when I could to see their dominant teams of the past play some of the great players um, but coming here as a freshman uh, we had a new coach Steve St. Pierre uh, questionable character questionable character <laughs> my, old, my old roommate yeah <laughs> love Steve but uh, it's true we don't get the same uh, preference anymore to recruit guys or offer any sort of funds in, in forms of scholarship which makes it a bit challenging when you're trying to put a put together a national championship level team yeah and there but, are other schools like Central Washington and Cal and Lindenwood Life that are offering scholarships, exactly. right? Exactly. Many of the yep. teams that we play now do have that access to funding. Yeah. Um, so it's always really fun to beat them. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. last week, 6231 at Central Washington. You guys, uh, you know, were ranked lower than them, but, uh, you know, it was an upset in that regard. But you guys knew you could beat them. Now you match up with Cal, the old rival from 05 to now, a team that's won a gajillion national titles. BYU's won a bunch and kind of upset the apple cart in that regard. What's the mindset going into um, a game that you guys played a couple weeks ago? Cal brought kind of a mixed squad. They already knew their playoff seed. But now you got to go to Berkeley and try and take them down for a spot in the national championship game. Oh, we're, we are so excited for this game. Um, we have a lot of guys that, like me, grew up watching the program, and this feels like the moment where we get to finally bring our talents to bear. We have... A lot of guys in our squad who've been around for a couple years now, who felt the sting of defeat yeah. at, at Cal before, and who are extremely motivated to pull this one out, go out there, and we don't think that we're the underdog at all. We think going into this, Cal's just watched us tear apart a few teams, and that we, if anything, are very evenly matched against this team. So we're stoked to get up to to Berkeley and, and see what we can do. Oh, I love it. The captain of BYU Men's Rugby, Ben Austin, is on BYU Sports Nation. What has been the difference this year? Is it experience? Is it a greater passion and desire? You know, locker room? Like, what, what's gone into this, like, ascension of the level of play? So on our starting team this weekend, um, every single player on that team has played for BYU Rugby now for a few seasons. Okay. You so got going all together. into this game, mm. we have a set of players that know how to play, have been with the program for a while, know what this game means, and also have experienced the potential that we have to, to play an awesome form of rugby that's emerging at the end of this season. And I think the difference really has been this group of players. Um, we have a lot of players from Utah. Most of our players are American, which is generally not the case with rugby as it's a very international sport. So it goes to show the effort of Utah rugby and even effort of rugby in the US to put together players that are capable of playing at a high level. We'd like to think that Major League Rugby has contributed to that in some way, but also Utah Rugby obviously has always had a great tradition with Highland. Harriman has emerged as a national champion. United's been awesome for a while. One of those guys out of Harriman, Taysen Hammer, is going to, he's been out for a while with the broken hit. He is back in this game. What kind of difference could he make? It's a huge difference for us. Taysen is one of our best players, very talented. He's been a leader on the team for Two, two years now, he knows what the expectation is going into this game, and he's also a super dynamic and fun player to watch. He runs hard, he's hard to take down, so him coming in to play for us this week is a big boost for our confidence. And maybe the best name on the team? Tayson Hammer. Tayson Hammer? <laughs> I mean, when your last name's in like a... Your last name's Hammer and you play rugby? <laughs> Perfect. That's fantastic. Uh, Try score would be the second, you know, to that, but that'd be awesome. Obviously, you know, the Cal game means a little bit more. Longtime rivals in the sport of rugby, but it also would provide you, assuming a victory, a spot in the national championship game. So how do you keep your emotions intact? Because there's a lot that goes into this game. Oh yeah. It's uh 
it's hard for a lot of us right now since it's finals week at BYU. Yeah, oh yeah, that so too. So we're, we're juggling a few different responsibilities here, and uh, it's hard to sleep at night knowing that you have the opportunity to go play against Cal at home and then potentially go to Houston in a couple weeks and play um, either Navy or Lindenwood in the final. But for me, and I think for many of my teammates, it's a confidence that keeps us together, keeps us ready to play. We've put together a string of great wins. We know how we want to play, and we know how we can play. And having that in the back of your mind is it's probably one of the best feelings going into a game. Give us a sense of some of the strengths of this team and what kind of structure has worked for you on the pitch. We are very expansive in the way that we play rugby. We love to move the ball. We love to offload the ball if we're getting tackled. And we have some incredible athletes all across the field. Sometimes I wonder how teams watch film on us because there's so many guys that you have to guard, so many runners that you have to tackle that it feels a bit hopeless to try and keep us from scoring. So going into this game, I know that we can score a lot of points. The question really for us is, is if we can play hard defense to keep Cal from getting into our try zone. Okay, so for those that are going to be watching this, uh, first of all, how do they find it so that they can cheer on BYU against Cal? And you were number eight, so we'll look for the number eight, but where are you on the field and what are your responsibilities? So the game will be broadcast on the Rugby Network. It's a free broadcasting service. You just have to look up the Rugby Network on Google, make a an account, I believe, and you should be good to go. Okay. The game is Four Eastern, baby. Yep. Four Eastern. It'll be up on there and should be an amazing atmosphere there. But in terms of my responsibilities on the field, I'm kind of the the peace police sometimes. <laughs> Make sure that there's not any fisticuffs going on um, behind the ref's back or in front of the ref. Um, but also, I make a lot of the play calls on the field. So going into a line out or a scrum, I'm in there making the call. So I need to be watching their film, make sure I know where their tendencies are going into the game, watching the way that they move, the way that they flinch even, um, in order to give us the best chance of getting a turnover or taking an advantage of a hole in their defense. I love it. All right, uh, we wish you the best of luck. We're going to give you all the all BYU Sports Nation, Nation karma, karma we can muster. Go beat Cal, man. This Thank is you. like in the non-Utah rivalries in any sport. This is up there, if not yeah, the most is, fierce. It's always for something that matters. I mean, it, it's this it's huge. awesome. Like, I will be watching. Like, yeah, I can't wait to watch you guys compete against uh, Cal. Good luck. Thank you very much. Okay, thanks, Ben. All right, good luck with finals, too, by the way. Yeah, but... Give them a break, but, instructors. But first, <laughs> rugby. Give them a uh, break.